Today's artist of the day, Cali Boy Nino. Greetings. It is two days before Christmas. Twas the days before Christmas when the podcast man is out. We would like you to leave a like so the artist could give you clout. Ooh, bar. Hope we're all doing well today on this wonderful day. Uh, apologies for the late upload. I am terribly sick. I don't know what happened, but like I felt I had I had a death. There was death approaching me. They said I never walked through a valley of shadow of death. I said that in my song. I almost did. I'm not gonna lie. I almost did. But I'm here, feeling much better. You know what I'm saying? A quick recovery stats on a hundred. We're here. We are here for another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's artist is Cali Boy Nino, who you may know the name from. Uh, the interview, the artist interview, where I interviewed him and a fellow artist, Major Mac, down in Nashville, Tennessee. Be sure to go check out that interview to get a more deep dive in their journey uh, as musicians. And I said in that saying, previously referencing that interview, I stated that I would review them and to kind of, you know, dive into see what they did. And they explained their stuff a little bit off camera as well. I haven't heard a, a single thing off camera, so this is my first time hearing their music at all so a review for major mac will be coming soon most likely tomorrow i believe but cali boy nino's up uh before we dive into it let's uh let's see if they have anything in the description ah yes perfect before we read the the description uh we've been getting a lot of support on these videos um but we're gonna need a lot more so let's please try to hit 50 likes on this video please um, I feel like we can do it this time. I feel like we can do it. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and to I gotta I have to do this now. Post notifications so you actually follow my stuff. We've been gaining some traction the past couple of days. It's been awesome. I want everybody to keep up with what we've been doing here. I'm sure the stats like, are you aware that like 97% of you aren't subscribed? That, that's probably what it is. So subscribe, share the videos, tell your friends to subscribe, like the video, tell them to subscribe and like the video. More eyes on the videos gets more eyes on the artists, and that's what we want. A trickle-down system we are building. Now, to the description. <clears throat> we gotta get the glasses on for this one. We gotta, because this, this is a hefty paragraph, this is. A hefty description. Nathan Cartwright Jr., born October 31st, 1996, better known by his stage name, Cali Boy Nino, or simply Nino, is an unsigned American artist slash songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee. Cali Boy Nino always wanted to do music, but he finally started to take his music serious in January of 2016. His first song he recorded was No Bo Nobody. He uploaded that on YouTube and got great feedback. Since then, he hasn't looked back. In February 2017, Cali Boy Nino released his first hit single titled Kicking Flavor, which was a great release, but also great, a great learning experience. Then Cali Boy Nino released his first EP titled New Wave. That also did well. Be ready to see and hear more music and visuals coming from Cali Boy Nino. So subscribe now for good quality music. Nashville artists waiting on the spotlight. Insta Cali Boy Nino. YouTube Cali Boy Nino. Links to the music and his YouTube and his uh, um, and, and, and his Instagram will all be down below. It's also in the description of the interview. Be sure to go check that out. Yep, please and thank you. All right. So... He 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 mentioned to me when we were speaking off camera that he does R and B, hip hop, and he's actually written songs for a bunch of country artists in the Nashville area, uh, which was which is pretty pretty good. So it's safe to say this man takes this stuff serious. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First track is titled "I Pray," featuring Austin Tolliver. The snow glows white on the upside. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Is this him? I'm pretty sure this is him. Okay. Out the gate. Way too much autotune. And, uh, by the way, I, 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 a disclaimer. I do have to say that. I am very crit critical. Uh, I do believe this is an older cut. Is this an older cut? Yeah, this is about the 2019. Okay, it's a pretty old, it's an older cut. Out the gate, there's way too much autotune. I think when, there's moments where he's singing well, 
Um, I love the production so far, but he's it's way too saturated on tune. Way too saturated. He doesn't need that much. I think you dial that back. I think he sounds better. It's he sounds way too awkward. He almost sounds dr like a drunken, a low key drunken mess over it with all that on. And when it, it's only when he's doing the I pray we. It's only when he sings it straight. It sounds better. So that's just my thing. It's out the instantly out the gate. I fell to my hands and my knees. Okay. Sexy on mark of the beast. They talk about the war but never seen a man bleed. Okay. I'm praying for the strong and the weak. The leader of a nation. Pray they hear me when I speak. I'll lay my life Okay, down. Eminem, talk different. I'm bored. I switch places in the. That's fire. That's fire. I'm here for the bars, man. <laughs> I haven't, bro, I haven't heard rap, like, in terms of review of rap. There's very few artists that I actually, like, can, that rap that I can review of quality, because most of them are, like, I'm going to keep it real, not good. That's fire. That was fire. He is slightly off, though. He's, like, behind the beat, and so was uh, Nino a little bit on the certain, in certain phrases. He's, like, chasing to catch up. Like, he's, like, his flow is steady, but it's, like, if you were to just move it over, he would be in time. Okay. Talk. I'm praying for gender equality. Back to the beginning. Bars, man. But karma moves faster than me. That's what I noticed. Red and blue flashing in me. Uh, Wait. What? Karma moving faster than me. That's why I see the red and blue flashing. The see. Wait. What? Uh, he was low key. There were certain bars in there that he was low key spitting. Like, wait a minute. That piano is phenomenal. That is fine. I like that. Overall, I like the potential that this could have had and the potential of how great this song could be. Because there's a lot of elements of this I, I like. There's a lot of elements that I think there's shouldn't have made the final cut, in, if we're being completely honest. Like I said, out the gate, there was way too much auto-tune on the, on the chorus. Um, even how the flow he's going with uh, was, it was way too, it wasn't smooth, it was too choppy. Um, he that shows that he can sing. It's just I think it ruined the potential of how good that chorus could have been. Austin Tolliver's verse, I liked. Uh, I liked moments of it a lot. I liked certain bars. Carmen moves faster than me. That's why I seen the, the black and white lights in the street. I like the themes that they're going about in this song. I like the production. The, the instrumental is beautiful. I love the piano, the strings. Uh, with that that transition to the kick and hi hat drums, the beat was mixed very well. Um, Austin Tolliver was mixed a touch louder than the beat. Um, I liked how Nino was mixed. Um, I, I, I said, I think, that, but, but there are also elements that I, that I just feel like were very sloppy. On Austin Tolliver's side, I think that, he, like I said, he was ever so slight behind the beat. His flows were steady. The bars were, were good. I liked the message he's talking about. I think that he's literally ever so behind it, and you can hear it. Also, you can, you can clearly hear where parts are clipped together. And it just makes it sound like very uh, amateur in a sense. But this isn't trash. I wouldn't go all the way to say this is a trash song because there's a lot of elements that I'm just like, ooh, if they did this, if they did this, this would take it up 10 cents. I like, And, you know, that's what I'm here for. Like that instrumental, those pianos, the string, how it all flows, that's beautiful. I love that. So whoever produced that, wonderful job. Overall, not a bad start. And granted, this is 2019. We're in 2022. A lot can change in three years. Second song is titled Smile. Okay. 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 These beats are solid. I'm liking this. Austin again? Wait, did they they had to do this off an of EP, bro? Cause this is nice, man. What the hell? Where is this from? Oh my god! Like, I like the chemistry. Okay, so it's just a bunch of singles. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. The chemistry is there. I respect it. So look, mm. you make my dreams come true. I never met somebody. I'm here for this, man. Like Gift that no one got you before I did. Yes, this chorus is so much better. He did it. This is exactly what we needed. This right here is what we needed. That song was beautiful. I like that a lot. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of that one. That was what I was talking about. Like, you know, the trend, like there was definitely, these are out, you gotta take this into context. These are dated. These are not, not dated, but these are like 2019. This is like a lot could change in three years. And that's, that's a telltale sign. That's, I think that was also released in 2019. And that was 10 times better in my opinion. 
his singing was much more solid. I think there's still a little bit, just a touch too much auto-tune because whenever he transitioned notes, it sounds really jumpy. Um, but his singing is a lot more palatable to the ear. It's a lot um, better. You know, that's really showcasing more of his talent. I like the layer he, the layers he added. I like the background ad-libbing vocals he added. It's just beautiful. I, I like his singing a lot. Austin Tolliver's full flows and rapping was better. The bars kind of took a dive in terms of substance, but I got the theme. We were all talking about like, you know, this talking about it's a love song pretty much. The girl's smile. This girl who's herself. Who he? This girl that he that he cherishes and makes him want to be a better person. Um, I can dig that theme. Instrumentally, the beat's very solid, very uh, old school, but all very classy feel. Mixed very well, mixed better than the last one for sure. I can definitely dig this one. I can definitely dig this one. Austin Tolliver's verse kind of got sloppier towards the end. He got kind of jumpy with terms of flow wise, but he recovered very instantly, which I can appreciate that a lot more instead of just fumbling. So very, very solid, very solid. Next track is titled Best Life. <laughs> Oh, this might be different. Ooh. Okay. This is wavy. It's wavy. We're here for it. See, but here's the thing. His the auto tune works here, kind of. I think it's still drowned out, but it's like it's like he has that fl that future Hendrix. Uh, the future influence. See, I don't know. Here's the thing. I the only issue I'm having so far is I don't know if the verse and chorus is mixed too quiet or the um underneath the chorus is too loud. But it does get drowned out. So I don't know which is which. But one of those needed to be turned down, or one or the whole verse needed to be turned up because it, the verse, the chorus at times can get drowned out by all the background uh, vocals of it. But it's not ruining it. It still sounds great. Ooh, I like what he just did with his voice. That's swell. <laughs> That's it just gets in my head now. It's catchy. It's life. That's definitely my favorite so far. Um, this was older than the other ones, I believe. This was when was this released? Yeah, off an of EP in 2018. Yes, yeah, so this was older than the other two. I think that was better than the other two, in my opinion. Um. His his flows and that was the first time I really heard him more just like really kind of melodically rapping, uh, which his flows were consistent, his bars were good, um, you know his singing was solid. Uh, I just think the mixing was very spotty on this um, in terms of like what needed to be the important line that stood out because I think there's so much going on, but it's all catchy so like the. Production has always been solid. The beats so far have been solid. This one is no different. Um, I, I like how they've they they'll have the sounds jumping between like the like I have these giant studio speakers and they'll hear the sounds jumping from sound to sound, from speaker to speaker. Um, kind of like what's in one ear when the bounces to the other. Um, the intro I liked a lot. Really caught my attention. Yeah, overall that's my favorite one so far. We'll go to the most recent stuff now. We'll go to the most recent stuff. So we'll get a the most recent thing on Spotify we have. Next track is titled Never Give Up. Ooh, the dreamy. I like the dreamy bells. To the end. Oh, to, it's catchy. Wait, wait, wait. He has his weird own style, but I also hear, like, in terms of this song, but in general, I hear a lot of, in terms of the auto tune situation, saturation, I hear, uh,. Future, a lot. I hear Future. You know he raps a lot clearer than Future. I hear Future, but in this song specifically, I also hear a little bit of juice in terms of like that higher register, and how he's doing it right now. This is only 32 seconds in, but I hear Juice World as well. Oh my God, he's kind of wilding right now. To the end, no, no, this is hot. Uh, 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 it's dirty, yeah, it's dirty, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, and the turn, yeah, let go, let, let go, I don't know if this is Nino or not, I brought him back, no, that's hard, 
Bro, I was about to say, bro, this verse is not mixed at all. He's so loud, it's about to really ruin this song. But then this man said, brother man, brother man, brother man. Nah! Gotta run that back, because that was fantastic. Like, bro, th that part, if he was just mixed quieter, oh, he would have, that would have, oh my god. But the brother man right now is, th the that, that was fantastic. <laughs> That's so hard. You're wild. Bro, this is go this has to go stupid at a concert. There's no way. To the end of time. To the end of time. Wait a minute. Got in bed and now we lit it. Y'all the main. Got a pain. Dollar spill it. Bought a spin. Wait, no, I'm off the freestyle. Be relaxed. Be calm down. Say it with me, y'all. Say it with me. We gon' we gon' do it together. Let's it lets me. We're gonna go all the way down. We gon' we gon' we gon' let me. Unless it's not gonna let me. We gotta find it. Where is it? Where is it? Yep, there it is. That's going on the playlist. That's fantastic. That was fantastic. Not perfect by any stretch, but that was levels above the previous stuff. It was catchy, very melodic. Uh, his whole verse and in, in, in chorus was very was kind of quiet, but not quiet enough to where it ruins it. Loved his auto tune on this voice. It actually fit in this context. I like his flows, like what he's rapping about. His, his jumps and octaves sound smooth, pretty smooth for the most part. I don't know who the second voice is. I assume that's not him. Um, maybe that's Major Mac. Maybe he wasn't credit put it on the song, so I don't know who it is. It might be him. That second verse was a little bit short. Um, and I wasn't a big fan of the mixing. It literally was like so loud. But the minute, but then it went back to brother man, was which is so. I gotta run that back. See, like it's not like okay, bro. This is kind of like ugh, this, is, this is very rough, right? Like he's flowing, but it's not mixed. But then it's like, bro. Then like right, so it's like that. But then you got. Ascending. What? We're not finna. I'm not finna. Video over. That was fantastic. Love that. Um, beat was very dreamy. Um, he added the very anthemic. It, he, it was. I love the contrast. A very dreamy beat. Um, but he added a very like anthemic feel to it. Um, overall, I said that's my favorite for sure. Final track we will listen to is titled Big Bag. Uh oh, this might be a little bit different. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Young boy? Young boy? Money bag, yo? Yo, got it. DJ Eskimo. That's all I want is home. Big bag, big bag. That's all I want is home. Big bag, big bag. Yeah. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Some layered crowd vocals over this would be crazy. Like, listen. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. That'd be hard. Oh, that'd be so hard. Oh, that big bag, that big cash, the dripping, the tie. Them niggas trapping in the block. I'm in tune with the block. They know what do that you shot. They know it tune with the rock. Stop playing. Just a quick freestyle. That's some light. That's some light. You gotta tune in for the verse. That song's a lot better, too. See, this is what I mean. Context, people. Context matters. That's the word of the day. Context. Uh, I like that a lot. Definitely not better than than Never Give Up. And I'm not usually a fan of like trap. I, I, I don't know if I call this trap. I kind of would just because of the beat. In terms of how the, the beat is, it's a very like I don't want to be an ass. It's not it's not not insulting. It's saying basic, but I mean like basic as in hi hat kick, boom kick bass in terms of that and the the piano. I like the pianos a lot. The beat's solid, and he kind of, and Cali Boy kind of makes it come to life. First verse wasn't really a fan of. Again, second verse I was a lot better, um, was a lot better in my opinion. The mixing on it was better, and he kind of made the song come to life. I like when he dropped the big bag, big bag, with some get his own big bag. I like when he does that. I think he just, if you add layers behind that in my, my eyes, I would want to see what that would hear. Like, like, big bag, big bag, with some going on, big bag. That'd be, that'd be really hard. But but you know what we gon we gon we gon let's see where is it where is it if it's gonna work again say it with me 
that's going on the playlist. Definitely a big fan of those two. Definitely a big fan of what I've heard from those two. All right. That was Cali Boy Nino. How am I feeling about his music overall, in, in my opinion? Honestly, 100% transparency. Um, there's a lot of potential here. Um, I like what I heard. I can hear the progress and I'm very, I like that I can hear the progress. I, can, I like how it wasn't that he started off one way and in three or four years, he was very just here. Like even if he was really solid, it, you know, if there's no growth on any level, um, then I, I guess I would, I would be like, okay, so where I'm curious, I would be concerned to see where he could take the next big jump. But here, you know, we started off in these songs from like 2019. Well, it's weird because, uh, yeah, 2018, Best Life, was that was that was part of his EP. Best Life I like more than Smile and I Pray because um, his collaborations, he has good flows. He has uh, a good voice when he actually showcases it. I just think he adds a little bit too much autotune on it. I think in certain contexts it works because he does have this kind of future T-Pain-esque type fusion. But I think when he drowns it out, and when he drowns his voice in it too much, it sounds like how future songs can sound sometimes, where it's not smooth. It sounds very, very like, sloppy. You can't say, like, sloppy. You have to say sloppy. That sounds wild. Pause if necessary. But it sounds like a very drunken mess. If that's the best way to put it. Um, production across all five songs. Solid. Love. That was the cons most consistent thing, is that the production was very, very good. Um, I, I like that a lot. As we got to his recent stuff, his most recent stuff, which was like on Spotify, it's like there's probably more stuff on other platforms I didn't check. I, I, I mainly use primarily use Spotify, so that's why I went off of. Uh, Big Bag and Never Give Up. Um, Big Bag I liked a lot. Definitely better than those by Miles. Um, he his energy was up. He seemed more confident. His performance was better. His lyricism was better. Everything was better. Never Give Up was the best one by far, even though it was far from perfect. That was fantastic. It, it was catchy. It was everything. Um, hey, let me see. Oh, it was Major Mac. Okay, it was Major Mac. Okay, that's what I thought. So I guess the second verse was Major Mac. They said his bars were great. His flows were great. But it, but it was just the mixing wasn't was damn near non-existent to my ears. But then he got, brother, man, that's so hot. And then Cali Boy, mainly Cali Boy, you know, took control of that he, he was this very anthemic never give up you know more breaking chain even the even the cover is breaking chains freedom and you know, all that stuff and you know the themes he talks about the themes he covers uh i do like a lot you know motivated or sounding hungry or sounding determined uh driven to be the next big thing in music overall there's a lot of things I like about him. There's a lot of stuff that you could work on, but it's beautiful because he's right now he's reached a point to where you're intrigued to see where he goes next. So I'm definitely intrigued. If I was to give him a rating out of 10, huh, I would say a light to decent 6 out of 10. Because um, there's a lot that m makes him stand out. I just think there's a lot of things that need to be... A lot of small, minute details I would take him from like that decent six so even on a, on a good day he's a strong six uh to push him up to the higher echelon so if, like to make him really stand up because he has the catchiness he has the voice he has the if he's producing whoever's producing under him i, I believe i want to say he was he knows more about he knows stuff about audio engineering so i'm assuming he produced some of these and not all these beats He's, they, he's got that. I think it's just those little minute details, the, that little pickiness as artists that we tend to have. I think he needs to see that, in my in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think we'll take him to that next step. But hey, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, be sure to go check out all his music will be in the links down below, so as, as, as well as his Instagram and, his, and uh, his YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to him, do all that stuff. Go, please check him out, give him a follow. He's awesome people. I'm waiting on the collaboration. I, you heard the freestyles. There's just some light. I want to rap. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Please share these videos. Let's get the 50 likes, please. Uh, if we can break that goal, that would be fantastic. That being said, today's artist of the day was Cali Boy Nino. Stay safe. Love y'all. Stay hydrated. Bye bye